Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Quant Network, aka q &T. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So first off, I actually want to start with this article that got posted the other day, and it is UK crypto connected to CBDC's tech up 16% in a week. And I actually thought that the wording behind this was very weird. I mean, like, we know that the United Kingdom has direct connections and exposure to quant. Uh, we've talked about this for a while on this channel, but I just thought that this was such a weird way to really kind of ward this article. Let me know what, what you guys think about that, because maybe it's just me kind of looking into things a little bit differently, but I just thought that this was so weird. And uh, we do see down here that the Quant Network Q&T has surged throughout September, seeing an almost 50% rally despite the majority of blue chip cryptocurrencies having a dismal month. And uh, yeah, I thought that that was interesting. And then uh, even if you read down a little bit more, it does go in depth on talking about whale holdings. You know, whales holding between 100 and 1,000 Q&T have increased their positions by 15.4% over the past five months. And uh, lots of investors are realizing the potential behind Quant Network, which has been reflected in the token sustained rise in value despite September seeing a dismal performance for most blue chip cryptocurrencies. So very interesting. And uh, also, they do say that it has been developed as a key milestone or a keystone for DLT technology. And the team behind it has deep connections to traditional financial uh, institutions and the UK government. They even go in depth on mentioning the 570 banks, the interoperability between blockchains. I mean... This is incredible exposure, especially from Yahoo Finance. Um, and this is centered in the UK. So a lot of people are learning about, uh, you know, Quant right now, which is incredible to see. And it's uh, something special. Let me know what you guys thought about this article down in the comments below. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to Dangdum or Dangnum PI, sorry, and uh, also Stone Pipes over here. We do see for those uh, wondering, the information from this graphic came from DAG and QNT Partnership. This relationship will achieve three main uh, objectives. And we do see down here like DAG QNT. This is 11 hours ago, one of the biggest partnerships in crypto. And here you guys have Constellation, Quant, um, and an infographic on the entire partnership, talking more so about uh, smart cities and uh, all that kind of stuff. So first off, let's start off with these images up here, smart city threat vectors. So technical integration overview and internet for automation with IoT and edge devices, Quant Network slash Constellation Network back in November of 2019. And you do see a few things here. So smart traffic control, smart grid, cameras, smart public transportation, uh, cloud and SaaS solutions, uh, location-based services, smart street lighting, sensors, and city management systems, a smart city um, in general. What do you see over here? Existing networks, platform, enterprise uh, systems, applications. This all goes through... Um, this is all centered on the quant graphic, which we talked about in the past. Public permissionless blockchain, Stellar, EOS, IOTA, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Constellation, and Big Data. By the way, IOTA is building smart cities as well. Um, enterprise permission blockchains, Corda, Ripple, Ethereum, JP Morgan, Quorum, and Hyperledger. All going through these and uh, these massive uh, networks that are already existing, connecting them all to blockchain uh, networks. And down here, here are the three um, objectives. Constellation will create a connector to Overledger, enabling sandbox test and environments and production-ready deployment. Down here, Constellation's infrastructure tools will enable data scientists to define every aspect of the data t uh, pipeline with a couple transformations of code, minimizing the pre-process step of data engineering. The partnership will allow the creation of a thriving network of IoT that securely preferences uh, data sources or references data sources while providing trusted and validated public data uh, needed or feeds to enrich interoperability or interoperating connect the smart uh, city. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, when we really kind of look at what is happening within a lot of these partnerships, the QNT DAG one is very interesting because this is essentially powering the smart city move, uh, which we have been kind of seeing a, a massive correlation between what the World Economic Forum has in plan uh, for you know cities. Um, but also this will play into the full on adoption of DLT as well. And I think that this is going to take a little bit of time. It's definitely happening, but it's going to take a little bit of time. And this is not only the, you know, one partnership that we've really kind of focused on on this channel either, but 
Like, there's so many other ones around DLT, uh, partnerships with QNT and what it really kind of unlocks. Um, I think that all of these major tokens that we talk about, these major DLTs, DAG is one that we haven't talked about in a while, by the way, but it definitely is a gem, and I think that everyone should do some more research on it and really kind of look into DAG because I think that's probably one of the most interesting uh, tokens in this space, especially around smart cities, big data. Um, it has incredible opportunities, really, as a token as well as, as a company. But also... Um, I want you guys to understand that almost every single token that you could think of in regards to DLT and what they are really kind of trying to, you know, do, if it is a token or if it is connected to a company that is trying to do some sort of major innovation, for example, we'll utilize XRP, right? Ripple wants to go after cross-border payments and they really want to remove the fragmented system that we are utilizing right now and really kind of revolutionize it and disrupt the entire core of the financial markets in regards to cross-border pay uh, payments, as well as like even focused on CBDCs. Now, in my opinion, interoperability is key for all of these. Uh, Overledger 2.0, which did launch, I want to say this is, uh, so this goes all the way back to 2021, May 5th of 2021. This provided a little bit more of an insight on Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin mainnets. This was providing interoperability to all three of them. Um, this is also talking more so about the standardization of uh, ISO uh, TC307, which is providing simple and standard uh, interface to access all supported DLTs and blockchains. This is going to be the one API for everything, bridging the global ecosystems of DLTs and APIs. This is going to allow for interoperability between all of the legacy systems and these major DLTs and blockchains. This is what I do believe is going to open the door for XRP, DAG, um, AOBT, for example, LCX, XDC, all of them to be utilized properly within their respective areas that they are focused on. And I also think that this should be a major focus point for anybody that is a part of crypto as well. If you are a part of crypto and if you think that your DLT, your layer one, whatever it is doing, is going to be a massive successful you know, project, guess what? It's not going to be successful without interoperability. Interoperability is key for all of crypto to be successful. This is why I focus on Quant. This is also why we talked about the Quant partnership with the United Kingdom, uh, because they are expanding globally to me like many areas around the world. Uh, the ISO TC307 uh, protocol, which is actually designed and developed by uh, Gilbert Verdian, who is the CEO of Quant, that's already connected to some massive countries and massive areas around the world. It is a standard that is going to provide interoperability to the DLT and crypto world. And it's going to be something that revolutionizes everything. Um, I don't believe that they go in depth on that, but we've talked about it in the past. I might just do a separate video on that alone because there's just so much information to really kind of go off of with that. Um, but yeah, I think that this is going to provide a, a major opportunity for all of these major tokens. For example, going all the way back to June of this year, we already did see them support XDC. Uh, this is with interoperability to really kind of support it and provide an insight to it, or I should say a connection to it from uh, some many you know areas around the world. Remember, if you actually go and look at uh, their supply chain and trade finance area, uh, this is very interesting because this is, you know, the area that Zinfin, aka XDC, is focused on, enabling a new generation of supply chains, opening up marketplaces to new ways of funding capital purchases. The challenge, they talk about supply chains and financial systems and how they are different um, and how they are basically plagued with issues and how, you know, blockchain and crypto could essentially solve it. Uh, we've talked about many issues regarding trade finance as well. Trade finance is a rough area to focus on, but Zinfin, aka XDC, has essentially solved a lot of the problems and inefficiencies that do plague that market as well. All of these tokens have specific use cases that are in the trillions of dollars in regards to the disruptions. You know, XRP going after uh, cross-border payments. It's a $156 trillion market right now. By 2027, it's going to be worth $250 trillion. So these areas that we focus on are huge. And it's a huge opportunity for Quant as well because what they are doing and what they have solved is providing a quick on-ramp to utilize these major solutions and disrupt the key core processing uh, uh, systems behind these specific uh, use cases and these sectors. Um, and also... The Alliance Block one. The Alliance Block uh, partnership was also very interesting because remember, Alliance Block already at this current moment in time had a partnership with the London Stock Exchange. I do believe that we will see stock exchanges being fully digitized, tokenized, and ultimately they will be, you know, 
I, I would say developed on blockchain technology or crypto technology. And we do see up here, Quant Network and Alliance Block announced integration partnership streamlining the overledger solution to blockchain projects and SMEs listed on Alliance Block. This goes back to 2018, by the way. The new partnership announced on December 20th allows um, Bl Alliance Block sorry, to offer Quant Network's overledger solution to blockchain and non-blockchain companies. Overledger is the world's first blockchain operating system that not only connects blockchains to one another, but also connecting existing networks to blockchain and facilitates the creation of internet scale multi-chain applications, otherwise known as MAPs. And uh, yeah, I think that this is incredible. Um, I also think that Alliance Block is an incredible opportunity as well. Definitely look at that one if you guys haven't already. But this is going to be incredible as a partnership because Alliance Block is going to power and offer Overledger uh, to some high tier uh, companies and names. What do you see down here? Alliance Block will use Overledger to leverage uh, multiple blockchains and create multi-chain token swaps. This partnership offers the possibility to open a new set of real world applications leveraging different features from different chains. Alliance Block is delighted about this partnership, which will help blockchain project and SMEs wield blockchain technology very easily. And uh, yeah, I think that this is incredible. This is the next logical step for us as an all-in-one financing and investment platform to support the growth and spread of blockchain technology into financial services. And since 2018, Alliance Block has been building out some solid uh, projects. Right now, I think that they are at a, a very low end uh, price um, right now on AOBT compared to where it was in regards to its all-time high. I've been stacking AOBT. I've been actually looking at AOBT and focused on it um, a lot more now than ever before, actually, uh, which is a big surprise to me. But it's been one token that I've been a big fan of. But this was an incredible partnership, which we talked about a little bit in the past. But all of these partnerships are key for the growth and um, to really kind of focus on interoperability as well. I mean, like all of this is really kind of building out the bridge between DeFi, CeFi, traditional finance, and even DeFi as well. And it's a very interesting subject to talk about, especially with Quant, because all of this will play a vital role in Quant's success. And we do see down here, this is with LCX. Uh, Quant chooses LCX as a partner to enable DLT interoperability back in 2021, April 19th. Uh, Quant chooses LCX as a partner to enable DLT interoperability. Quant and Crypto Asset Pioneer LCX partnership with, will uh, further accelerate the progress progression sorry, towards central bank digital currencies. Uh, we aim to utilize the partnership with LCX to demonstrate the immense value of interoperability for the financial services sector. We'll combine all, or sorry, we'll combine and interconnect different blockchains to unlock value for our users and provide additional value to the fast growing LCX ecosystem. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty large. We do see we do share the same vision of building a bridge between the traditional financial markets and the future blockchain based monetary systems. Quant has built the foundational technology solution for DLT interoperability, which is important for the growth of LCX and the industry as a whole. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty large. We do see the strategic alliance down here. Quant has invited LCX to become a network gateway at the Overledger network. Quant will integrate LCX within the Overledger network as a key partner. By the way, this is why I stack LCX as well. LCX is one of my... Um, I, I think it might be in my top 10 now. So uh, th this one is continuously being accumulated. LCX will support Overledger Network technology within the LCX ecosystem. LCX will list Q&T on LCX's regulated cryptocurrency exchange, LCX exchange as well. Joint research and development, collaborate and explore technical and high level issues among LCX management and the quant management team, especially evaluating CBDC exchange settlements. So Huge partnerships, huge connections, and this not only solidifies the fact that, like, listen, the new monetary system is being built out, and it is being interconnected between Quant and the legacy systems, and all of these major tokens provide an, an incredible opportunity to not only revolutionize and disrupt these key sectors and industries, but also provides us with an incredible opportunity to be a part of this revolution. And I'm telling you guys, pay attention to all these major tokens that do have a partnership with Quant because I think that these inked deals are going to be huge in the future. So with all of that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I believe you all have a beautiful day, beautiful night, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.